you know, this time is the right time for Chaitanya Charan's podcast. The kinds of things that you discuss with devotees, the way you are probing, um, um, you're, you want devotees to ponder deeply and carefully and affectionately the great gifts that Prabhupada has given us and the way each of us is attempting to process them. And I think this is really, uh, you know, a wonderful seva. I, I really do. And um, it's it's not going to be for everybody. Not everyone is able and willing to ponder these things deeply. But for those who are, what a gift you're you're offering here, uh, Chaitanya Charanji. So to invite uh, so many wonderful Vaishnavas uh, to share what is so deeply moving in their hearts. It's what it's that's what the movement is about, the movement of the heart toward other hearts. But you know, if we go back to the Bhagavad Gita. And we look at what it means when our hearts are moving freely and um, without obstruction, when our hearts have been relieved of a lot of the pain and hurt and trauma of the past, when our hearts have been lifted up by Krishna's love and the devotee's love, mm. then, then this is wonderful. But what happens when we have a shattered heart? The phrase is shattered heart in the Bhagavad Gita. Arjuna experienced a shattered heart. What was it that was painful for Arjuna? What I call the Arjuna syndrome is something that invariably all of us will have in this life. Arjuna was um, uh, he asked Krishna to move the chariot in between both the armies. Mm. And Arjuna did not realize what he would experience. But he realized that on the opposing side of the battlefield, on the side of the Kauravas, were relatives, friends, and even his guru people for whom he had reverence, people for whom he had a great deal of affection and love, but people who had another side that was representing and promoting evil. This is what shattered Arjuna's heart. This is what caused him grief. Shoka, shoka. You know, Chaitanya Charan, we experience persons that persons have many sides to them. Uh, you know, sometimes we discover the side of a person that has done bad things, even criminal things, even evil things. And this is very painful. This is very painful. It's not about forgiveness. I know this is a catch-all word all over the place. It's really not about forgiveness. It's about being real about what's in front of you. Now, Arjuna could have said to Krishna, oh, oh, wait a minute. All my friends and relatives are over there. Drive me over to the other side. I want to fight with them. I, I want to join the evil side because, frankly, those are my friends. So you know what, I'll join them. No. Then, then he's not being true to his heart. Then he's being repressive. Or he could have said, I hate all those people fighting for Dhritarashtra. I hate them. I don't even care who they are. I hate them all. And I'm going to kill them. Don't even take me into the middle of the battlefield. I don't even want to see who's there. I'm going to kill them. That's the other extreme. Arjuna had the heart of a bhakta. He wanted to be real. And the reality of the situation, Chaitanya Charanji, 
was he was to kill in battle those whom he loved. And the, first, the second half of the first chapter, 18 and a half verses were spoken by Arjuna to Krishna, dumping the contents of his shattered heart onto Krishna. Krishna said nothing. He listened. And that is exactly what Krishna wants to do. He wants to hear our hurt. He wants us to share our pain with him. He wants us to dump the contents of our shattered hearts onto him. Because then we will all do what Arjuna did. We will completely give ourselves even more to Krishna, and Krishna will reveal himself even more to us. Thank you.